Hello, welcome back to Muckman Movies. Um, sorry, I'm not getting t through too many videos at the moment. I've just had a new kitchen installed. I've had lots of things going on in my life. So, yeah, that's why I'm not putting too many videos up at the moment. Um, life's getting, getting in the way. And then we've got the Euros going on at the moment. So I'm watching a lot of football. Um, but yeah, this is a quick video to show you what I picked up in June. So stay tuned after this. So this is my pickups in June. Didn't pick up a right lot. Uh, last month because of what was going on uh, spending a lot of money on the new kitchen as well so needing to rein back this expenditure on movies um, so these are the few films not many so literally a handful I can fit them all in my hand um, so starting off with the four th feathers picked this up for a pretty decent price I think it was £7.50 from HMV off the recommendation of Stuart George, he absolutely loves this film and I did watch it um, through the course of June. Enjoyed it, it's not quite in the same league as something like Lawrence of Arabia or Zulu or um, The Man Who Would Be King, I absolutely love The Man Who Would Be King. It's not quite in the same league as that but it's still a decent adventure film. So. Yeah, picked up the four feathers. Then I picked up the import of Outbreak. I had an urge to re-watch Outbreak. I've got it on DVD, but I've upgraded. Hopefully, there's, there's no forced uh, subtitles in this. It's a German release. Sometimes I'll end up buying a film with forced subtitles, which you can't turn off. So, um, fingers crossed, I've not checked to see if there's... Um, for subtitles on this but I absolutely love this 90s um, virus thriller basically um, really great cast Dustin Hoffman, Morgan Freeman, Rene Russo, Cuba Gooding Jr such a great enjoyable um, film um, yeah I, I prefer this to something like Contagion although I did enjoy Contagion quite a bit more on the repeat viewing so I might need to pick that up as well but yeah that's a really good film off the back of what we've just been through with Covid. Um, I picked up HMV had a deal on the Second Sight films so I picked up two Second Sight standard releases Picnic at, at Hanging Rock which I've still to see um, it's quite long I think which is the reason why last time I tried to watch it on TV um, actually no I'm wrong it's only 107 minutes long so I'll definitely try and fit that in next month and then I picked up Under the Shadow I've seen this once before and there was a lot of hype surrounding it and it didn't quite live up to the hype so I'm hoping now the hype's settled down a bit um, I'll get a bit more enjoyment out of it I thought it on my first watch, I vaguely remember thinking the ending got a bit silly towards the end. Um, but hopefully on a second watch, I'll get a bit more enjoyment out of it. Um, picked up the Valiant ones, uh, the Blu-ray release. I know there is a 4K release, um, but this is by Eureka. And it come. I think, does this come with two films? Um, I might be wrong. Let's have a look inside. Must have been one of the other Eureka releases, I think. This is by King Who, uh, the Valiant ones. I managed to get £10 off this on Amazon, so it was a bit of a bargain. Which made up for me spending £20 on Navajo Joe. Um, this is out of print. So when I saw it in CEX, I thought I'll snap that up even for £20 because on eBay it's going for about £40. So 
even though it's 20, 20 quid, it's still a bit of a bargain because it's out of print. You can't get it in the shops anymore. So if you want to pick that up and you see it in one of your local CEXs, um, I think you need to definitely jump on it when you can because you won't be able to buy this in your bog standard shop or online. So Navajo Joe with Burt Reynolds um, and it's directed by Sergio Cabucci, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm a bit of a big fan of Sergio Corbucci at the moment. Um, you know, everyone everyone knows about Sergio Leone, but Sergio Corbucci is pretty much on a par with a Leone film, so I can't wait to watch that one. And then the last two, which actually um, arrived this week, but I'm going to throw them in in the June releases because... I've not got that many to show you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I picked up um, the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire Steelbook. I enjoyed the last Ghostbusters, and I know this hasn't had much of a critical... Um, it's had a bit of a critical bashing, if you like. But I really liked the Steelbook. Um, I like the design runs all the way through. I prefer this to the, the one on Zavi. Uh, and I picked that up from HMV this week. Looking forward to watching that. I know some people have um, actually said it doesn't deserve the bashing it's had. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be entertaining enough. And then I've been waiting for the price drop on Rumble in the Bronx, the Cine, uh, which version is this? The HMV Cine edition. Um, it's been up in the sort of £25 bracket for a, quite a while, £22, £25, but managed to get this for £13, so just jumped on it. Um, I've not seen this one as well. I've seen most of his Hong Kong films, and then it comes, but I haven't seen a lot of his American Chop Socky films. So this actually comes with some art cards and a poster. So this is the poster. So there we go, that's the poster. These are the art cards. So if you wanna if you've not got this in your collection and you wanna pick it up, I'd recommend you pick it up now because it's so roughly, roughly about half price at the moment at HMV. So there you go. So those are the art cards. So there you have it. Those are my limited pickups for June. Um, I'm pretty glad I didn't pick that much up, to be honest, because I am running out of space. I'm doubling up on my shelves at the moment. Um, I'm going to have to do another curation of my collection and try and get some films sold on eBay. Um, but there you go, those are my small, small haul of pickups. As you can see, that's my small haul of pickups for June. So thanks for watching, take care, enjoy the football if you're watching it, and goodbye.